Hey there YouTube uh, and Gundam fans, this is Patrick1969 and in most of my reviews I try and show you guys some of the figures that you don't normally see being reviewed and that's what leads me to this one today that is the Blitz Gundam from Gundam Seed. Um, unfortunately this wasn't a US release, it was only a Japanese release so getting this figure is kinda rare I don't normally see him all too much on, on eBay or anything like that, but in the past week he has been there. So um, let me just tell you, go ahead and pick this up because this is an awesome looking figure. Um, so anyways, I'll show you the accessories, uh, a, little bit of his, a little bit of his articulation, and that's it. So let's start off with his um, accessories that everybody has come to know with the MSI in line. Um, and that is the extra hands. He has a little trigger finger hands. He has his fist hands. And he has his, whoops, let me get it, his beam saber holding hands. So as I refer to them, the typical three. He also has a nice little beam saber blade. I'll show you where the hilt is in just a little bit. He also has these, whoops, I dropped a hand. He also has these little hook claw things. There's three of them, and I'll show you where those go. He also has on him a shield, which is pretty well disguised as a uh, beam rifle, or a gun, as you can see. Really interesting uh, weapon right there. He has also these three little spears that can shoot out. They don't really shoot out, but you know, in the series they shoot out. Um, his beam saber hilt is right there. Let me see if I can get that out without messing anything else up. Yep, there you go, right there, and it fits into a little hole. If you can see it, yeah, right there. So that's a nice little cool thing. I ah, forgot it. He also has this little weapon that can shoot out, kind of like the Death Sight Gundam's uh, shield. That shoots from his uh, wrist. This thing can shoot out with the help of this little cable or extension piece. <clears throat> and these little uh, beaks come out. It kind of looks like a bird. A bird's head in a way. But anyways, uh, those part that part can come out. And let me see if I can get this on. These little claws actually have, um, two of them have the same kind of peg system, or they all have the same peg system, but one of them has a different design than the other, and it's this one right here. This one is how you know that goes on top. And so, yeah, that little thing grabs another mobile suit and just crushes it to death. Crushes its face. So anyways, there's that. And is that it? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the mobility on this thing is awesome. It's, of course, um, one of those later generation MSIAs where um, they decide to add extra mobility to it, extra uh, um, joints, extra everything. Ball joints were traded, or uh, sorry, just regular hinge joints were traded for ball joints and all that. So it was uh, really awesome. <clears throat> and uh, he has a little bit of mobility in the shoulders, but not too much. His arms can go about that high. His uh, arms can also twist, and he has the double joints in his elbows, so he can do that. Uh, let's see, his legs can go, depending on where you're, you're positioning it, the leg can go that high. Or if you're right under the skirt, it can go, it can go that high, actually, same, almost the same amount. Um, he has ball jointed feet and everything. He kind of has the ball joint in his uh, legs in the bottom right there, but they don't move all too much. So I don't know what use is, uh, is it to do that if they're not going to move. Let's see, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it. Doesn't have really anything else uh, that's much different from any other Gundam Seed figure that you've seen. Um, let's see, what else? What can I show you? Oh, his little armor coverings for his feet go up. That's a little interesting detail, I guess. And that's about it. 
as I said before, these hook things come out, or spears. There's three of them. And there you go, if you can see them. Yeah, see the little holes? They just fit right in there easily. Wish they kind of shot out though, that would have made this thing a lot more cooler. But other than that, there's nothing, uh, nothing, nothing left interesting about this figure. It's just a cool looking design. Um, I just really wish they had uh, brought it out in the U.S. Probably made, would have made me watch Gundam Seed a hell of a lot more in the beginning. But uh, this is one of the first, uh, I think there were five, yeah. Yeah, first five Gundams that were shown in Gundam Seed. Um, and this is one of the four that got stolen by Zack. And I think it was the first one destroyed. So, that's a little sad. But other than that, it's very, very cool. The shield is so different. I've, um, I, I know it's not like a, a, a weird thing to have a gun um, mounted into a shield. But this one does it pretty, pretty neat. Pretty differently to where you notice it. And yeah, so that's it. Oops, there you go. Is there any movement in the hip? Uh, there's a little bit of movement in the torso, but not much. Anyways, that's my short little review showing this guy off. I hope you guys found it interesting, and if you're looking for him for yourself, um, be sure to check out eBay. You'll be able to find him. I'm not sure on the price, but... Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure on the price. I can't even, I can't even guess. So, good luck hunting for it, and stay tuned for more reviews. Alright, take care. Bye-bye.